India space chief announced that India would set up an Indian space station. Uh, it's a very big deal to have a space station. Only America, Russia, China and a consortium of other countries have ever attempted it. And that India would have a 20-ton space station by 2030, uh, which will be a totally Indian effort with no international collaboration, is a very big announcement by India. This is part of what the ISRO chairman, Dr. K. Sivan, announced as sustained effort for space exploration. So this is an outlook, outlook being given by the ISRO chief that beyond Gaganyaan, which is the human space flight slated for 2022, the vision is to have an India space station up in orbit five to seven years after Gaganyaan, which essentially means by 2030. It's a, a very expensive affair. It is a very big uh, uh, effort which India will have to put in. And the ISRO chairman said they would be conducting microgravity experiments. Uh, they are not looking to have uh, the India space station of the same nature as the International Space Station, which is the size of two football fields, but to have a smaller one, which is of 20 tons, to conduct microgravity experiments. And why do you conduct microgravity experiments? It is to look for new drugs new pharmaceuticals, new chemical uh, entities, and to do life experiments in space where there is zero gravity. But ultimately, India is also looking to colonize a body outside the Earth. So many big announcements from today's press conference by the ISRO chief, but the International Space Station was today's big announcement. I have with me Dr. Jitain Singh, who is the Minister for Space in the Prime Minister's office. Uh, Dr. Singh, what is significant of Chandrayaan 2? I think to put it precisely, it's going to be an extension of Chandrayaan 1, A. And as you have been, you know, very keenly and very scientifically following all these space missions, you would appreciate that uh, Chandrayaan 1 was successful in bringing back certain inputs which were not available earlier, even though America landed its first human being on the surface of uh, moon way back in 1969 who had a walk around but could not see the presence of water. This was Chandrayaan 1 sent by India which brought back the evidence of the presence of water and possibility of a human habitat happening over there. And therefore Chandrayaan 2 which will go there with a land rover will be able to bring further inputs. By sending our tricolor and the Ashoka symbol and the Isro symbol on the moon surface will we leave a permanent mark on the moon? Absolutely, for all times to come. And I'm glad that you said this. I should have said this. And one more thing, sir. Uh, the mission director and the project director for Chandrayaan 2 are both lady scientists. So is your government going towards more women's empowerment and putting more faith in Indian women scientists? No, of course, we are always there for women empowerment. But having said that, the the, the men fraternity working in space technology is based purely on merit. And what about this international space station? How, how is the government viewing that? That is a mission or, or a project which is being planned after Gaganyaan, after the human space mission. So it's still being worked out. So to ask you in a lighter frame, how's the Josh? Yes. How's the Josh? How is your Josh? Sir? Absolutely. Josh is in full swing. So that was Dr. Jitain Singh, Minister in the Prime Minister's office, saying the Josh is high for Chandrayaan 2, and India will also be setting up its international space station in New Delhi with camera person Ravi Pallav Bagla for NDTV.